Welcome everybody. So in today's uh, little video we produce on the functionalities of the key report to clear up, we want to focus on is union reporting. Uh, we're gonna request a request today in our inbox. You can reach us at info at kreporter.org. If somebody had some questions on union reporting, so we said it's a good idea to just produce a short video that uh, demonstrates how to use it. First of all, why union reporting? So if you're not sure, sugar is organized in modules, like accounts is a module, calls is a module, meetings is a module, leads is a module, our report is a module. And if you do a regular report, we start from one module, like in this case, the opportunity, and then drill down from there. We can use all the relations and summarize and do some functions, do nice presentations like we did here. But in some cases, it's not sufficient to just have one module we want to aggregate and combine together. So a very popular example and very common is, for example, activity reporting. On the one hand, we have meetings, we have calls, we have tasks, and you want to group them together. So it's three tables, it's three different modules. How do we do that? So let's build just a simple activity report. So I go to create reports, create a new report. Also, a union report it starts pretty much the exact same way as a regular report. So we call this the activity. A report. And we start with one module, which is the main one. Let's pick calls. Then say, okay, we do it on this one. <coughs> and let's assume we want to take the assigned user, the username, and we just want to get the number of calls per user. And so we drag over just one field from calls, like ID. That's always a good one. We name it to count. Say we do by this wonderful field, and we do a count on the ID. Fairly easy. Let's see what we get. So, no big surprise. The username, the number of calls. That's fairly easy. And the next thing we want to do is say, okay, how do we add meetings? So, first we need to do a little bit of trick because we want to identify what type this record is of. So, we add one fixed field we call type. Give it a fixed value call. And then, of course, we also group by it. So, it's nice. Those of sense saying, okay, if we just want to save in between, wouldn't see much, there's only one column, let's just fix them to this call. The interesting now is go to the union tab here. Now well, you see if I flip that, the fields are changing in the manipulation tab. So here we have uh, quite some things we can do. We can, uh, can do math and whatever and custom functions and say to require, etc., which we can no longer do here. So if we go to the union fields, um, that is predefined and we have way less options. What we can do instead, but we can add further modules. So there's another drop down, we just select meetings and hit the little plus button. <coughs> Adds the module meetings. And immediately you'll see the fields we defined in the main view. So now what I can do again is just say, okay, we want to do the same. We want to pick the assigned user. It's the same pass here, but could be a very different one. Then I drag that over, just the normal way we would do. But now, rather than adding it, we get a pop-up that asks us, OK, these are basically the fields we currently have available, where we want to map it to. And we want to map the username, of course, to the username. Then we want to do the same for the count. We also take the ID here and map ID to the count. And for type, we just type in meeting. What we did. Created a basic report, we said it's calls, it's grouped by user and also grouped by the type. We count the number of calls and then we added meetings and said, okay, so we add those records, the type is different, and count them also on this level. If we save, what we shall see is now we have the records, and then we have the user, and we see, okay, Chris has 10 calls, 48 meetings. Okay. This is the first thing now. Let's make it look a little bit nicer. And we also add tasks. So we can only add one module, but basically in union you can add up um, till the cows come home. So in our case, we want to add tasks. So we do the same steps again. You see, okay, if I switch here, the mapping is populated or not. The same, by the way, also for the select criteria, you can for each of these modules define individual select criteria. It might be necessary. More on those tricks, maybe in a separate uh, video. So we follow the same stuff. We take the assigned user, we take the username, just map it over, we take the ID, we take that over, the 
count and then maybe write task. There's one thing you want to do. The other thing is we want to go back to the presentation layer and switch from just a standard view to a group view. Group by the username. Group, group, group. Uh, let's group by type. And then on the count, uh, that will move up. Uh, we can do it here. Move it up one notch and then we're okay. On the count, so we'll do a sum in this uh, group view. Save it and we'll see what it takes us. Great. So now we have calls, we have meetings, we have tasks per user, the count, the total. Now, if we say, okay, for example, we want to switch that and group by this field, you're nicer. So the admin has calls, Chris has calls, meeting tasks, etc. Down to Will. You always have the numbers. Up. That sounds about right. You can say the numbers are always more or less the same, but that's fine. So this is about this, and then of course what we can do, the other thing is that we also add the chart. So we visualize that, what we of course can do, we take a layout one by one, so that's fine. Google charts, that's fine, but now we take two-dimensional on a series, so we have two dimensions in series. The difference is here, we cover also separately how to do that. Also the column chart, that's fine. Our first dimension is the username, the second dimension is the type, the data series is the count, take a nice color scheme, bright neutral, display a legend. Uh, that should be it. That's fine. Save. And there we go. So we created a big report for each type. We see how many there are. If we say okay, group by username, we can see it by username. And then we have one chart where per user we see a column chart because they stacked and whatever. We just say okay, what are the values next to each? So very quick and easy. Took us not even 10 minutes looking at the clock, 7 minutes and 30 seconds. So go figure out how it works. Okay, thanks for listening. Enjoy Kinao reporters, support us, like us on Facebook. You'll always find us here if you hit the little Facebook button, watch our videos. And if you like it, buy the wonderful plugins. Thank you.